and sisters. I don't know if I want to put this on YouTube platform or not. It's definitely on Patreon. I'll decide. I guess I guess everybody will know if they see it up or not. Pastor Dow here. Um, some people love the advice that I give. And most of my advice, the majority of it actually comes through what I call wisdom. And what I call wisdom is applied knowledge. Notice what I said. I said wisdom is applied knowledge. In other words, you should have learned from everything in your life, past experiences, previous experiences, in order to be a well-rounded individual, an individual uh, that will be sound in mind, sound in body, sound in spirit. All right, so what is this video about right here? Well, I can tell you that a lot of people are not going to like this video, but yet and still people do what I'm getting ready to speak about. They do it all the time. In life, they do. Uh, and so I'm just going to speak on it because for some people, it's painful to hear, even though they have actually implemented this themselves. In order to be a dynamic individual, in order to be an individual that is going places, is going to do things, is going to prosper in life, um, you've got to realize that you've got to learn how to say no to a lot of people, and you have got to separate a lot of people from your life. Because some people in your life is toxic to you. Uh, a toxic person is a person that is a leech, uh, a person that drags you down, a person that is dependent, a person that is, matter of fact, they, they actually want you to think that life, you can't even live life without them because they need you more than you need them. But in life, you're going to have to leave and learn how to leave behind all of those, all especially all those people who are not on the same journey and in the same path that you're on. Just because we're existing in life doesn't mean we're on the same journey and same path. Because anytime you get someone that has a lot of resistance to what you want to do as an individual going forward, and of course my journey and path has led me to serve uh, the most high in the beauty of holiness the best way I could, the best way that I can, um, and to give it all my heart, all my soul, all my mind, all my spirit with a no quit, a no die attitude. That's just me. And in that, I've had to separate myself from a lot of people. Or let me just say this. A lot of people voluntarily separated from me, to tell you the truth. Um, they voluntarily separated from me after I started hitting this course in this path right here. And they don't care what happens with me in life, no matter how successful I may be. Because you know they're not going to be there if you fail. But no matter how successful that you may be, they're not coming this way. And they're not coming this way because this way is built upon commandments, a moral, and a standard. And that's just for me. As, but for you, no matter what position or perspective or whatever you're in, listen, everybody is not going to see eye to eye. Everybody is, is not going to want to walk with you as you walk in a certain path. And you've got to realize and you've got to understand that when people don't want to walk with you, you have to be content to go ahead and let them go. Be the people that they want to be. No hard feelings. And just keep it moving. You can't be controlled by people's negative feelings and emotions simply because they don't get it. You can't, you can't allow yourself to be controlled, manipulated, ruled, or dominated because people don't get it. All the times people get upset because people make career decisions or choices in their life, and they don't like it. But it's your life. Now, in your life, you're going to develop new family, new friends, uh, new colleagues, and, and whatever you want to call it. But you have got to be the best version, as for me, for me, that the most I call me to be. And there's an old adage out there. You know, I'm always about building because building always teaches us and tells us the type of person we are. In other words, like for me, I look for something in my life every single day that's going to inconvenience me, that's going to stress me in some way, shape, shape, fashion, form. I'm not talking about putting mental stress on me. I'm talking about something that's going to challenge me, 
so that I can stay on the cutting edge. Because if I don't, if I'm not on the cutting edge, then I'm not developing. If I'm not developing, if I don't have resistance like you would have in weight training, then I'm not staying strong. And since I'm a builder in every way, shape, fashion, or form, uh, physically, mentally, and spiritually, um, one of my things I live by is this: in order for me to build, I've got to be willing. To pour. And is when I'm pouring into people, then people can uh, actually build on that foundation right there. And I'm trying to build a solid foundation so where they can actually build up on top of it for themselves and anybody else as well. I hope I'm making sense. I'm trying my best to do what I can to help bring about a positive change in people's lives. Not only in people's lives, but the, the people's lives who are concerned about the most high God in every aspect of life. But we as a people, we can't continue to keep doing the things that everybody wants us to do and expect change because truth is a lot of people just simply don't know what the hell they want to do in life. They're just existing. And you can't go through life like that. I've had to say no to a lot of people. And I'm sure I'm going to have to say no plenty more times. Um, but I, the one thing I cannot do um, is I cannot acquiesce or capitulate or get off this course that I'm on because not only has it made me successful as an individual for serving most high y'all, but it has impacted a lot of people positively in their lives and have literally made them successful in every way, shape, fashion, or form. And in making them successful, um, then they are uh, in a position to impact others. And in their impacting of others, um, they'll continue to allow this to grow and continue to keep growing and keep growing and keep growing and keep growing and keep growing. Hope it says something to stimulate thought. You have a wonderful day.